Welcome everyone. In this tutorial, I will guide you through the process of transforming videos of people dancing, walking or performing various movements into animations to your custom avatar. We will use Ready Player Me and Deep Motion to make this happen. Before we start, make sure you have an account, a Ready Player Me account to create your unique customizable avatar. You can find their website just by googling Ready Player Me and clicking the first link. Here you can try the character creator. This will get you into editor for your characters. And there you can either sign in if you already have an account or sign up for a new account. You will also need a deep motion account, which is also free. You can find them or their website just by Googling deep motion and going to the first link again. Here you can press free to use sign up now to create a new account or sign in with your existing account by pressing the sign in button. Now go to the portal of DeepMotion. Here you're gonna have to click the animate 3D. Go to 3D models and stylized avatars. This is the application we use from the Ready Player Me, but you can also create an avatar over Avaturn, which is just another program offering avatars. So if you click on that one, the window will open and because I'm logged in already, you will see here my avatar, but you can also just create a new one. I'm just gonna select this one for now and I'm gonna type in a name. New custom character has been successfully created. Okay. Now we can go to create, to create a new animation. Right here, you can either drag and drop in your video or browse files to find your video like that. Here's my example video that I will be using for this tutorial. I got that from the internet and it's 23 seconds long. It's important to note that the free version only provides you for uploading videos of 20 seconds or below. So you will have to trim the length if your video is longer. It will do that automatically for you, but you can also customize that to your liking. Down here, you can see the, the video length is right if the video length isn't red anymore. So if it turns orange, you will be all right to save. And then over here, you're gonna wanna select your character or your model. You have different kinds of standard characters. And down here, it will show you your custom avatar or avatars. You can have up to three avatars in the free version. So I only have one here. I'm gonna choose this one and then close again. Now the avatar that you chose will be in this window right here. Now we come to the animation settings right here. You're going to want to activate the physics filter. If you want face tracking, activate this, the, this one as well. Now you can choose the eye tracking sensitivity. I will keep it on the standard level. If you want to use hand tracking, it's just a beta version, so it won't work at its best. Uh, but if you want that as well, just activate it here. If you only want the upper body to be tracked, you can activate this one as here, here as well. Uh, but we want the whole body to be tracked, so this one, we're going to leave that off. The settings up here, you can leave them just as they are, because you want a 3D animation and it's only a single, per single person and not a multi-person in this video. Now cl click on create to create your custom animation. Here, it will show you how many credits it will be using. So for me, it will use 40 out of 40 credits. After that, after creating this animation, I can't create any more with my account. You will then have to create a new account or upgrade to the premium version. Down here, you will also see the output formats so that these are the ones that you can download after completing the job. 
Now click on start job to start the job and wait for it to finish. Now you can view your animation by clicking OK. In the background, it will show you the video that you use for an input source. And in the front, you will see your avatar doing the animation. Down here, you can download it. You can select the file type you want, but if you want to use the model in WorldWiz software like Wizard or SiteLab, you're going to want to choose GLB here. Click on download to download the avatar with the animation. Here we have example video download number one, so you can view that in the files. And to open it with Wizard, right click and then open with Wizard Inspector. That will open your avatar in the wizard inspector, but don't worry, the animation will only activate if you go down to animations and then example video. The animation will play. Now you can implement this animation into your programs or scripts in wizard or sitelab. That's a wrap on this tutorial. You've just learned how to convert any video into an animation for your custom avatar. Now it's time to try it out with your own models and videos. Thank you very much for watching and I will see you in the next one.